Hey everybody, my name is Ixie, and if you're new to my channel, I break down music and I use a little bit of music theory to do it. But I'm really all about the emotions and the impact that the music has on the human psyche. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is that today Radiohead released a re-release of Kid A and Amnesiac, and they included a third disc that has some forgotten tracks, some different ideas that weren't ever finished, and some alternate versions of tracks. I'm gonna listen to it and give you my thoughts and sort of a, a brief analysis of what I'm hearing. Okay, so without further ado, let's start listening. The first track is called Like Spinning Plates, Why Us version. Okay, there are rhythmic sounds. So the, like the the harmony and melody is coming through so much more more strongly than in the original version. They were really into this kind of harmony for a while, very Andalusian kind of sounding uh, Spanish flat six chord. be such a good study into mm, uh, arpeggiating chords. Just all the little changes they're making are so good. We should all learn how to play this on the piano. It's actually probably not that difficult and it's oh. They have such a, a way of making you feel this incredible sense of dread and anxiety without you realizing it. Oh, that, they did that in Pyramid Song too. Strings beautiful. Yeah, I love being able to hear all this so much more raw and exposed. Tense note. Gonna make me cry, Tom. Ah. Oh, something like Led Zeppelin. This is so pretty. In everything in its right place, and I think also maybe in Pyramid Song, they do this thing, whether it's intentional or not, where they're sort of bouncing between this idea of two tonal centers. Is that called bitonality? Kind of feeling like this is your tonal center. Like, oh, but maybe it's all right. This one, it's yeah, it's just cool. I, I love that feeling of like, oh, I don't actually know where I am. It makes it more emotional, I think. Mostly, so it sounds like it's in, um, well, I don't know exactly which key it is either G sharp, Phrygian, something, or um, C sharp minor. Harmonic minor is probably more reasonable, but they're not reasonable. They're Radiohead. Nope, sorry. It sounds like Moonlight Sonata. Next track is called Untitled Version 1. So this is probably an alternate version of Untitled, which sounds like this. This is the last track of Kid A. It's like going past an orchestra in like a time machine. Okay, so that's the original. Here's Untitled Version 1. Whoa. It's like a robot being angry with you, robot child. This is quite different. Or maybe this is not another version of Untitled, it's just an idea that was Untitled. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, what is this reminding me of? This this vocal processing. Is it um, Kid A? That instrument, that bell instrument, sounds so much like um, this this instrument I had at home when I was a kid. It was like these silver metal tubes, different lengths and thicknesses, and they would all, maybe the same thickness, but different lengths, and they would be suspended sort of on both ends by a felt um, holder, and then there was a mallet with, a, with felt on it, and you would hit them. Very orienting, just like a fifth kind of. Wow, oh, this is so interesting. That was cool. I liked it. I will definitely listen to that one again. This next one's called Fog, again, again version. In my searches here, there is a song called Fog, parentheses, again, that was released by Radiohead in 2019. I love how they decorate chords. From the sewers I'm hearing a minor four chord. That's such a nostalgic thing that they do. Alright, so now let's listen to Fog again again version. That's that's clever. Okay, same key. Okay. So I'm kinda of hearing the same chords, but now they're being played by this beautiful bell-like synth. With a lot more like rhythmic complexity and tension. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Metrically, that's cool. It's, in case you're wondering what that chord progression is, um, I think it's D major, B minor, A major, and then it would go to F major, and then to F minor, and then back to D. That last part. I think it's kind of mostly just going between um, A major and G major. So it's that feeling of incompleteness. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so this next one was one of the singles off of this third disc. It's called If You Say the Word. If you're in the forest out of your mind, opposite branches breaking your eyes, if you're stuck in rainfall, shattering glass, where you miss the moment watching it pass, if you say the word, if you say the word. When you spend your life wishing a twinkling star, when you forget how lucky you are, buried in rubble 60 foot down, if you say the word, if you say the word, then I'll come running. When you change your friends like changing your clothes, if you say the word, if you say the word, then I'll come running, I'll come running. Oh, I already love it. <laughs> First of all, it sounds like it's in a minor key, and I typically feel drawn to songs in minor keys. Also, I like this groove a lot. It, that, that tom or something doesn't really sound like a snare. It sounds like he's just hitting like a, a big tom, and it, it kind of has a dome. It's reminding me of another song, I think, off of Kid A. It's reminding me, no, actually, you know what it's reminding me of? Of um, Climbing Up the Walls from OK Computer. This groove is um, swinging a bit, so it's just really kind of groovy. Just so much like ear candy, little things happening. But one thing that I'm really into is I'm hearing the acoustic guitar is playing a pattern that is creating some kind of syncopation and some rhythmic tension that is really cool. Um. moment. Oh, God, it's 
beautiful. Oh, I'm going to listen to that a lot. I'll just drag this right into my playlist. So many minor chords. Um, I was just talking to a student about how, like, a lot of songs don't 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 have a lot of minor chords actually even songs in minor keys mostly use major chords minor chords are a little a little more complicated i guess a little harder to use well but they are using them so well it's just so so pretty and then this chord is my favorite it's the flat six chord then they go to minor five minor four and leave you there oh so pretty and then they go I don't really resolve it. That is so uneven phrasing. I, approximately. I love that syncopation, how everything just kind of comes together to hit those. Mm, mm, mm. Everything's synchronized. This is so beautiful. I just, I love their sense of harmony. That's like, you know, I don't always know what Tom is saying. I admit it. But my favorite thing about Radiohead is just their harmonies. Just such an innate grasp of what sounds powerful and real and interesting and... Mm. Doesn't take much. That the guitar was just going between the tonic and the fifth the whole time, creating beautiful chords with every one of those um, other chords. All right, the next song is called Follow Me Around. This is a really different style for them. I remind me like a little bit of Nirvana. I don't think it needs drums. I wonder if drums are gonna happen. I don't think it needs it. There's some kind of vocal harmonies going on that sound artificially generated, which I just love that the contrast of that sound with this like raw acoustic guitar. Where you're like, I'm just sitting on a porch with Tom, and then you're like, no, I'm I'm in the future. Also, he's all the way on the left. I this is what I mean. I it's like it's like this like feel good song, but he's saying like some days I panic, and you're like I feel it. How do I feel it? Is this about depression or anxiety? You follow me around. Wait, okay, I love that. I gotta figure that out. This reminds me also a little bit of. Um, there's a song from A Moon Shaped Pool. I'm blanking on the name right now. I can hear it in my head though. Dun, 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 me. You know what I mean. You know what I need. That's cool. That's basically just going between the one and four chord, kind of like how like blues would. It's just a very textured acoustic guitar. But it's so catchy, you know. I love the way they go. Um, It's because it sort of sounds like um, it's in D major, but then there's a flat seven, which gives it that mixolydian sound. So that sounds like this. There it is. The next track is called Polk slash Pull True Love Waits version. Interesting. True Love Waits is a song on a moon shaped pool. Am I wrong? And also, if I remember correctly, this is a pretty experimental kind of sounding track from Amnesiac. Oh, that sounds like True Love Waits. 
Sounds pretty cool with this drum groove. Hmm, that's cool. I really actually like this version a lot. Oh. Okay, it just faded into Untitled version 2, so let's listen to it. Some really interesting mixing going on. Just the way it's split in the stereo field is like really uncomfortable. Oh my god. You gotta listen to this with headphones. This is wild. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that is like really uncomfortable and very, very cool. So listen to Untitled version two with headphones. Okay, back to the Polk slash Pull True Love Waits version. Let's just like quickly remind ourselves what Polk Pull Revolving Doors sounds like. Okay, so they, they took that groove, right? And kind of swapped out the vocal for True Love Waits. Not just the True Love Waits vocal, but also the chords, which are C major, then A minor, then a flat major, and that is the dramatic shift that you hear, because that is a borrowed chord from another world, or another key. <laughs> um, yeah. True Love Waits original is like when you're awake and you're mourning something, or um, fe feelings of sadness, and then that version is like what what you process in your dreams, you know, like it's all like distorted. Something feels really off about it. Okay, so now we're on to the morning bell in the dark version. Hmm. Minor chords. That's what makes the song sound so weird. This also reminds me of the Beatles. So this is like if morning bell were in 4-4. Sounds almost creepy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, in the dark. All right, this is scary. This is called Pyramid Strings. Okay, I'm excited. Disorienting, anticipation, suspense. Why are they gonna write a film score? It's not immediately obvious to me how that's related to Pyramid Song, but I'm gonna dig deeper. This fades into alt fast track. It's like a little bit of that dance hall rhythm. It just sounds like a perpetual tritone. So unsettling. I feel like this could be in a movie too. Oh. Here comes the harps. Entitled version three. Okay. This sounds like, is it motion picture soundtrack? It's nothing like a harp. I love this. God, he's gonna explode. Now I'm anxious. <laughs> Someone needs to animate that. This is how to disappear into strings. Very tense chord. All these pads sound very voice-like, but you know, they never take a breath, so it just feels like, oh, so tense. Dissonant dread. I wonder if it's gonna relax the way that the original does. Hear it? I love that chord. They're just manipulating the tension like, like nobody's business. Uh, this is demonstrating why I love harmony. There's no, there's not even a melody in this song. They don't need it. 
I don't know, is there so much of that? It's called glissando. Reminds me of like a whale. You know what it does that? depths that's going to require multiple listens wow okay well I don't know (laughs) what I expected I feel like I've been taken on a journey and that is you know that's Radiohead for you I like this a lot Um, I love hearing these different versions I love being able to hear some new things I actually like really liked the the little untitled version one, two, three interludes. Like I really want to listen to those again. The singles are, are great. If you say the word is, is a, is a gorgeous song, I might have to break it down. Yeah. This is such a mood, you know, like this is the kind of thing that I might listen to with my eyes closed, you know, in the dark with headphones and just like go completely inside. Well, what did you think? What did you think of Kid amnesia. All right, that's the end of this video, but please stay tuned for more. If you liked it, subscribe, turn on the little notification morning bell so you always know when I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.